Time now for our favorite person of the day when we pick one person who grabbed our attention and not for the right reasons. Today, it is a Florida ophthalmologist who has managed to earn nearly $21 million from the U.S. government program Medicare, even though his office was raided last year by federal authorities probing Medicare fraud. The federal government released a list of doctors this week who earn the most money from Medicare and for which procedures they are charging for. Dr. Solomon Melgan came out on top, charging the Medicare system for 37,075 injections of a macular degeneration drug to 645 patients. The government paid him an average $320 for each procedure. If you do the math, that means each patient received about 58 injections. While Melgan has never been charged, Florida is considered the top state for Medicare fraud because, well, the state has a lot of old people. A quarter of the top Medicare doctors practice in Florida. Last year, Melgan also came under scrutiny for his relationship with New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez after the lawmaker used Melgan's personal jet for trips to the Caribbean. Now, Melgan isn't the only eye doctor to rake it in from Medicare. According to the Associated Press, 151 ophthalmologists accounted for $685 million in Medicare charges. Melgan's attorney says he has done nothing wrong, and the American Medical Association opposed the release of the government data, saying it's out of context and leads to wrong conclusions. And so, I, Dr. Solomon Melgan, foreseeing clearly how much he can make from the government and off old people, is our favorite person of the day. Next, Africa has become a hotbed for investors to find out which hotel chain is getting into the mix and boosting its brand in several African countries, you're watching a Rise Exchange.